Hello and welcome to the Sunday Night Football Player Props video. I'm your host for Lamps.com, Matthew Amato, joined here by Jacob Lane, Braxton Reynolds, and Jason Gilbo. We have a spicy one with the 49ers at the Denver Broncos this Sunday night. One and a half point spread, but today we are talking all about the player props. We have a few missing, but we're going to talk about the players we like from this game. You guys can make your own decision. By the time this video comes out, there should be a lot more available and maybe some of those question marks answered. Jason, we'll kick it off with you. You're having such a great day. <laughs> Tell us about a player or a prop you really like. You're the worst. I don't know why he kicked it off with me. All right. <laughs> I literally just rolled into this video. <laughs> let's kick it off with Braxton. Braxton had some spicy takes in the game picks video, so let's transition that to player props. I guess it's going to keep being spicy if I like Jimmy G passing touchdowns over 1.5. With Kittle back, I'm expecting him to play at least like limited snaps to almost full. And he's a real safety blanket for Jimmy G. He loves that connection. They have scored a lot together. And with that, adding to Debo, Ayuk, and Jennings, I think it's a very strong receiver core that they can use to exploit this like pretty average to okay Broncos secondary, especially with Sertan not going to be a hundred percent. So I do think Jimmy G is going to kind of move the ball through the air, especially in the red zone. The only thing that scares me at the Broncos really is their defensive line, which is why I'm kind of leaning them to go for the passing game in the red zone. And Jimmy G hits the over on 1.5. I'm going to say that is spicy because I absolutely hate that bet. I hate the idea of Jimmy G throwing any forward passes in this game. Jacob? Braxton's just coming after my Broncos today, man. He First he's after on the alternate spread. Now he's saying their secondary is mediocre. And, man, I, I'm just, I don't know. I don't like it. But the one prop I do like in this game, we don't have it up right now. But, Matt, your favorite player, Javante Williams, I'm going to be on his receptions total in this game. Um, you're going to see Nick Bosa and that defensive line create some pressure uh, on the Broncos, especially on the interior. And with Jerry Judy likely out, KJ Hamler not at 100%, obviously Tim Patrick towards ACL before the year, they're quickly running out of reliable receiving options. And Javante Williams is one of the best receiving backs in football. So you seem to be heavily involved in the passing game the first two weeks. And I think that continues here. Yeah, I'm on uh, both Jeff Wilson and Debo Samuel over rushing yards. I, I think this game script... I, I, I see what you're saying, Braxton. I just don't think they like Jimmy G in San Francisco, nor do they want him passing the football. I think they're going to try and rush it down the throats of Denver, and I honestly think you it's a possibility that you can do that. Damian Pierce didn't have like, the most efficient day ever for Houston, but again, they really struggled taking him down, and Debo Samuel, Jeff Wilson are not super easy guys to tackle, especially Debo. I think Debo's able to get enough carries in this one, again, because they don't want Jimmy G throwing the ball a ton. I also think Jeff Wilson will be the guy to kind of kill this game if the 49ers are in a lead, like you were saying, Braxton, they would be. So I think these lines are a little bit small. I, I wish, I mean, if you can find it on one of the sports books, let me know down in the comments. I would love to start taking, like, team over on rushing and passing props. I think that would be kind of cool, so you don't have to, I mean, obviously, usually you can just pick the quarterback for passing, but rushing would be really cool to bet a team's rushing over because I think the 49ers rush the crap out of the football in this game and, and do it at a very efficient pace. Um, so I like both these bets. A little bit of juice on the Debo one. And uh, Jeff Wilson, too, there's, at minus 115, I, I would like the line at like 52, 53, but I'll take over 55 and a half. Jason? Uh, so I settled on, give me the plus money here on Russell Wilson interceptions over 0.5. Um, I think this pass rush is actually going to have a decent day this week. Uh, Broncos offensive line is still a little bit shifty in terms of pass rush for me, and we know 49ers can get after it. Um, secondary all healthy and improved this year. And the fact that they are letting Russ cook, even though that hasn't really you know, come to fruition with any sort of points, like the attempts have been high, I think he's going to be under duress a little bit here. Um, he's... <sighs> I don't know. There's something about him in the way that kind of throws. I thought we saw it a lot during that first game against Seattle. Like, he looked off. Like, some of these throws just aren't really hitting for me right now. They look a little bit soft. And I think that's going to be a good opportunity for some of these secondary players to to get a jump on it. So, 
for me, I think this game's going to be close. I think he's going to also have to be able to make some plays. Like, I don't think they're just going to shy away and start going towards the run after two weeks, um, even though people are already calling for it. But getting plus money, I think, on Wilson, who's generally more careful with the ball. But for me, it's, he's got to air it out this week, and getting plus money on it's pretty solid. So I'll take that. I will say as someone who's been one of those people on Twitter bitching about them not running the ball enough, they were running at such an efficient rate in the first two games. Like, this is going to be a different matchup against a much better front seven. But it's like, I mean, this is all of our issues with Daniel Hackett. You have guys back there averaging 7 to 15 yards a carry, seemingly. Just hand them the football. Like, until they stop that, there's no reason to, to go away from it. They were having higher EPA per run instead of pass, which is insane. Um, all right. Braxton, any other player props? Um, yeah, I think longest reception for Debo over 21.5. Not only does he project as like a receiver who can get open in the space and kind of beat his man, but if you throw him a screen, he can take that for 30 yards, 40 yards. He has that playmaking ability where he can break some of the tackles of a Broncos secondary that I think they're pretty good at tackling, but they're not the best. And Debo is the kind of player that can kind of wreck any defense and get those yards after the catch. So it doesn't have to be a Jimmy G deep pass to Debo to kind of hit this. I think he's talented enough to really turn any into the over here. And with the amount of volume that Debo is probably going to get, I think it's worth taking that chance. Fair. Jacob, any other ones you want to talk about? I just want to go back to what Jason said about Russell Wilson. Um, his on-target throw rate, according to Sports Info, is 20, uh, it's 23rd in the league right now. 63%, which is way low for him. And I think it goes back to a lack of chemistry between him and his receivers. Um, we talked about that in the Game Picks video. And the fact that Russell Wilson didn't play in the preseason, I think, is a is a massive mistake. So that chemistry isn't there. And I agree that he's going to be a little bit mistake-prone in this game with the pass rush coming down on him in a way that it didn't at all in the first two games. Um, and then... Uh, Braxton, to kind of bolster your point, I think it was really interesting last week with Jimmy G. Uh, 53% of his throws last week were outside the numbers, and his his highest average last year was 40%, so he was trying to push the ball downfield a lot more. Um, I think that could be something that we see from him a little bit more after all the talk about Trey Lance and how he was going to raise the ceiling of the offense with his downfield passing. So I'm curious if that's a factor in this game. Um, with the Broncos banged up secondary, I think there could, there could be some opportunities for Brandon Ayuk. Um, I want to see what happens with George Kittle's injury before I make any Ayuk bets. Uh, if Kittle's not playing, then I'll be tempted to play Ayuk in what should be a little bit of a better game script and weather situation than you see in the first two weeks. I like it. I'm uh, Basically, Jason's justification for the interceptions is why I like the pass attempts for Russell Wilson. I think... You know, you threw 31 times against a Houston team in a 16-9 game. You're going to have to throw a lot more against this 49ers team. I think they're going to be able to slow down Javante Melvin Gordon. I've, I've said this several times now. I think 49ers will be leading this game. The only worry I have on the pass attempts is if the 49ers control the clock so much that Denver's offense never has the football. Um, but I do think... The fact that he has such reliable guys in Melvin Gordon and Javante to kind of at least chip away, get some first downs, especially through the air in the screen game, in check downs, uh, the over is going to hit on this uh, 32 and a half at minus 110. Jason, any other props you want to give a quick shout? Um, No, it's a good point. I think the pass attempts is interesting. The only thing that did kind of hold me back from mentioning that one was just the, the pace of play. I think will be a little bit slower. Yeah. Um, and, and just the rushing as well on both sides. It wouldn't surprise me if we just see a whole quarter go by and, like, three possessions are actually had. And, um, yeah, I mean, nothing here that's, like, on the board right now. I mean, you know, we're all big fans of Javante Williams, apparently. You know, I think that's obvious at this point. Um, so, I mean, I'm going to be obviously looking at him to get involved, as always, in the, in the past game that we've seen throughout the first two weeks, and that'll continue, especially if Judy's out. So, All right. So let me go over these. We got over one and a half Jimmy Garoppolo touchdowns. And let me make this very clear. This is only Braxton saying this bet. This is Braxton's bet. <laughs> this is not, not our bet. <laughs> over 55 and a half rushing yards for Jeff Wilson Jr. at minus 115. Over 31 and a half rushing yards for Debo at minus 120 for myself. We got Russell Wilson over half an interception at plus 100 for Jason. Debo over 21 and a half longest reception at minus 125 for Braxton. 
I have over 32 and a half passing attempts for Russell Wilson at minus 110. Jacob, Jason, myself, Braxton, if you want to be in on this, you can. Probably all on the over for Javante's receiving props in this game. Whenever they do come out, and I imagine they're going to come out probably when the Judy news is announced, and you'll see the kind of the full slate at that point release. Um, by the time you're watching this video, most likely you can get it. And uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. As always, you can click the like button if you like this video. Dislike if you did not. Comment down below your favorite bets from this game. Click the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more. You can also click the bell to get notified when our videos go up. If you want to find more player props, you can check out the articles on this game and the articles we have on every single game on player props and single game parlays. We got you covered for the NFL season on lineups.com. You can also check out any sportsbook information and any sports betting legal information you need on our website. We'll see you for the next one very soon.